first week of 2022 and what have I got? Problems. So there hasn't been any video at the start of this week now. A few things to go through just quickly. A quick video for you tonight. One. Was I right or was I right? Talk about a bit premature ejaculation on this one but Ghostbusters Afterlife is hitting us 31st of January. Now this is either genius or desperation. I'm just thinking more along the lines of genius because the hype behind this film is still high. Everyone seems to like it. To get these sets out is a good thing. Now I'm only showing you the Blu-ray but we've got 4k we've got the steel book but it's the uh, big pack which worries me. 150 notes for three films. A couple of extra discs in there with bonuses but fucking hell man. 150 quid can I raise you another one? Nah, 150 notes, that's painful. Be surprised to see anybody purchasing that big one. If you're gonna do it, make sure you let me know in the comments down below because I will follow you and I wanna see you do an unboxing of that one because it does look nice. It does look nice. I can't wait till the end of the month to see this myself. But I do feel that I will not get it as a still book. Um, it's right after Christmas, and there's no way I can justify 32 quid on a still book, so I'll probably just end up getting the Blu-ray, but that's just me. I think a few other people are going to be doing that as well. So that's the first thing that surprised me. Now my other half went away for three days to London with her son and his husband. Uh, they do this most years simply because, of course, I can't really get around London. It just ain't happening. Um, <laughs> it just ain't going to happen. But, um, they go to Winter Wonderland, which is a crazy festival in Carnival Rise and all that shit in London. Totally, totally overpriced. Um, they, they do bingo in some of the biggest bingo halls in the country around London as well. Uh, no good news on that part, but basically uh, yeah, yeah, they won a little bit, but <laughs> they didn't even out the bank account if you get my drift. Um, the main thing that has worried me is on the way back, literally as they were on a double-decker coach, double-decker bus as it were, but a look, real nice one. They were leaving London and somebody decided to step in front of the coach as my partner had stood up to take her case down the stairs and my my stepson's husband had gone down first to make sure she was okay he got to the bottom of the stairs as the emergency brake was slammed on now my partner unfortunately rotated on herself so imagine you're holding a pole but the inertia span her around she went head first down the stairs she has a very badly uh, twisted ankle, uh, knee is about the size of uh, two thirds of a basketball um, she has a tricep tear and um, the bruising is unbelievable and she has a head injury as well so basically my partner has come back to me and I've been looking after her every minute since uh, she's at the point where she can't shine wash by herself right now uh, she's she's going to start to get better but I literally everything else went on the back burner I haven't even really looked at much of the news or anything like that as you, anyone should know family comes first everyone knows that you're all respectable people who know that and I'm, I need to make sure I take care of her but I feel the need to get on here do a little Friday video of a few expectations that are coming up firstly like I said with the Ghostbusters excellent news can't wait to watch that the next one is actually one which is Kind of, a film that's kind of got lost in the ether. Nick of Time. Now this is a Johnny Depp film. Uh, is it Christopher Walken as well? This is made like 27 years ago. I think it is at least 27 years ago. And it's a real time film. I love this film. I haven't seen it in so fucking long. It's actually hitting America on the 22nd of February. Now that's the other reason why I'm saying it. Because it's out on 2202 to <laughs> yeah, That's just me being a prick. But I highly recommend this film. This is back when uh, he looked a bit more respectable in a suit. If you get my drift. Yeah, he looks a bit better back then. That's the only two that I really want to make sure people know about at the moment. There's lots more information coming. It will be coming over the next couple of weeks. Now, two things to tell people again is... Bounty time is coming back. Um, we're looking hopefully to do something on Sunday now. I want people to understand one thing. Rob has a lot on. He really wants to get back into this. To give him, if uh, anything, to give him a release. 
because he, 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 uh, he's always busy, he works every day, he is always, always caring for other people. This is something that me and Lee, Lee Eels will support him in totally. We're going to try and do it Sunday night, so look out for the uh, old uh, markers on, on YouTube. And if he has to run during the stream for anything, me and Lee will take over it and make sure everyone's happy for the rest of the night. We want to do this to help him just take his mind off some of the things that are going on. He's putting up with a lot. He's worried about a lot of people. As we all are, we've all got shit going on. Especially me with the missus as well. I'm not doing too well. I've been taking off half my medication while I await tests. And the tests have been cancelled four and a half times. Because one of them there saying, I just didn't turn up. I was thinking, tell me about this fucking appointment, lads, and I might actually turn up. But... They've cancelled it five times now. I'm now due to have a CT scan and test on Monday. Let's see if they don't fuck that one up. I do understand there's a lot going on with the NHS right now, so I'm not going to kick off about it. But when I'm feeling sick from changes that they've made to what I have, it kind of gets a bit thin. I'm, I am continuing. One thing I am noticing is my strength has gone down. So um, I've actually had a set of weights been brought to me and I will need to start getting some basic strength back into me so we're looking at changing uh, diet changing uh, my fluid intakes and trying to match it up to my medications so it doesn't fuck me up so I will be slightly uh, more cathartic I imagine in some of my videos or, or, or I don't think cathartic is where I'm just fucking knackered but I need to do this to strengthen my core otherwise I think my spine is just going to continue to deteriorate so I need to start fighting this and I'm sure you can all appreciate that um, the other thing is Magpie's coming back as well now the reason we're doing this one is uh, Sunday, I think it's 16th is a Sunday we will be doing this on that night it's going to be me, it's going to be Magpie and if he can make it later in the evening Rob will pop in now Treat Robert as a special guest. If he turns up, he turns up. If he done it's because he can't. But me and uh, old Magpie Boy, we're going to get some discussions going back. Look at what we're looking forward to for the rest of this year. And it's only just started. Let's start saving for Christmas already. That's all I can say. But I think a lot of people are going to be glad these are coming back. It's season three for me and Magpie, and I'm really going to enjoy it. But we haven't spoken that much over Christmas just because we've been so busy. But he's a great guy. You know he is. I can't wait to get back on it. So two live streams coming your way as well. Look out for the dates on any of our Facebook pages. Now, um, I did show a couple of pictures of my Mrs. Bruising. Don't take it the right way. I just want to show you, uh, you know, she's going through a lot of pain right now. We're going through uh, Volta Roll Cream like it's fucking going out of fashion as well. So even though I've got a few stresses going on, please, if you've got any worries or you want to have a chat, I'm still available message me up on my Facebook and anything I can help with I'm still available guys I might look a bit tired I know I look like shit but it's been a hard week enjoy the rest of your night guys um, when it comes to prizes no prize today the first prize as long as the stream happens will be this Sunday I'll be giving away two films and if it doesn't happen this Sunday it will be on magpies okay the reason I'm doing that is because at least one of them is going to be a steel book if not the second one I'm waiting to see some more stock if it arrives so we'll get that part done as well so I haven't forgot you and bear in mind everyone that won over Christmas plus there's still some of the ones from before Christmas I will aim to have them all out by the end of the month we're going gee I've got a few out but there's still a whole bag before we get done but your prizes are safe simple as I really enjoy giving them away and a happy new year again to everybody I will talk to you all again soon probably on the live streams next but remember get your money ready for Ghostbusters because you're going to want to buy it oh, well, enjoy the rest of your night guys I'm now going to stop this and get it uploaded then I might actually have a shave so I even look, I might actually look a bit respect oh, I look like shit don't I I need to look a bit more respectable so shave's coming up and a nice long hot bath I think take care now see you soon and prizes are coming in January <laughs>